Billet ID by Concept Systems. Processing steel involves massive amounts of potential energy acting on a high dollar raw material. It is a risky environment to say the least from both a safety and financial standpoint. Once the end product is manufactured, it's critical that it's tracked throughout the rest of the process. Product that is not properly tracked can be costly. Quality issues can arise from product mixing, leading to mismanufactured product and ultimately resulting in profit loss and customer returns. Product tracking also enables manufacturers to track operational parameters that need to be included as a deliverable along with the billet, a requirement of many of the biggest steel consumers in the market. Billet ID is a robotic tagging system that eliminates the risk of losing track of billets in the manufacturing process. The automated system welds an identification tag, typically containing manufacturing data, in human-readable and barcode form to each piece of product. As the billet is conveyed from the caster, a laser scanner generates a 3D model and tracks it across the conveyor. In this fashion, the robotic tag applicator can be dispatched to reliably attach the tag, regardless of orientation and rotation, and can even handle dissimilar product types. The built-in verification system automatically scans the barcode and tag placement in real time, ensuring high reliability. Billet ID is the most flexible system on the market, integrating with the existing line, typically without mechanical modification and capable of tagging billets, blooms, blanks, rounds, and slabs. It can also be configured to tag bundles of product with shipping tags. Billet ID can be integrated into an existing track and trace system or can be delivered with a solution developed by Concept Systems. Billet ID ensures product quality, improves the functionality of the overall tracking system and improves facility safety. To learn more about Billet ID and robotic automated solutions, contact a Concept Systems sales representative today.